facelift with my ponytail. I got so much stuff from Zaffle, like, if we were going to a pool party, I would definitely wear this, but we're not, so on to the next. I don't know, I just don't want to be too dressy, you know? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a great day today. So I am about to head out for a girls' night tonight with a few of my girlfriends. I am so excited, you guys. I feel like I haven't been on a girls' night pretty much since my last girls' night vlog. So I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be a little bit more casual this time and not so dressed up. So I'm about to get ready for that. And I figured I would film it for you guys. So I've already done my makeup. If you guys wanna see how I did this, I filmed it over on my TikTok. I'll put it up here if you wanna check it out. But I just did like a simple everyday makeup. I added a wing liner and then some gloss. And yeah, it's really really simple but I think it's so cute the only thing different that I've done with my makeup is the wing liner and then I contoured my nose this time too and I actually think it came out really good so I'm probably going to continue to do that let me know if you guys like this makeup look or if you prefer how I typically do my makeup but I am really feeling it today I feel like you know it's gonna be a good night if your makeup turned out good but now I have to do something with this hot mess hair I got my hair done last week and I haven't washed it since Ew! I know it's kind of disgusting but it's fine I just got it recolored it's a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more of a bright burgundy color but I still really like it I still think it's a really pretty color but the point is my hair is super greasy so I can't just let it be down like this and the other day I did a super cute like half up style so I think I'm gonna do that again because I really like how it turned out. I just put on these press on nails from Kiss and they look so good don't you guys think? I think they look pretty good for press on nails but they are perfect for making your part straight or you know as straight as possible. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing like a triangle section in the front to keep out because I want to do that um, like slicked back look where um, you can see the part still. And then I'm just going to tie this off to get it out of the way. This is going to be a hot mess tutorial. So if you're expecting like a step by step, that's probably not what you're going to get. Oh my God. Seriously, you guys, I'm kind of rushing because I had to wait till my mom could come and get Lincoln. Rashad is still working, so um, I wasn't able to get ready with him. It's just so hard to film with a toddler around because you know he's just wanting to get into everything and play, and I want to be able to give him my full attention. So I try to wait to film once he's gone or Rashad has him, or he's preoccupied doing something. Um, so once I got my ponytail to the place that I want it and I slipped back as much as possible, you want to pull the f out of your hair. I want this ponytail to be as snatched as possible. That way it like lifts my face. So basically I want a facelift with my ponytail. Now I'm gonna go back with some hairspray and spray down all of the little flyaways. And before it dries, I'm gonna take Lincoln's baby hairbrush, cause it's the only one I have, and just slick it back. I'm taking these front pieces back and I'm leaving them. No, I'm kidding. If you wanted to do like a full half up, half down, you could pull it all back and that would be super cute like that. But I'm gonna leave um, a couple of strands in the front. I think that looks good. I was gonna pin these with bobby pins, but somehow I have no bobby pins when I buy a pack like once a month and somehow I lose all of my bobby pins. It's <laughs> insane. But I'm just going to take this section, spray it with some hairspray, and smooth it back. I don't want it like straight back because then you lose like the parting. So I just want it back 
enough. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I feel like that looks really good. Okay, now I'm just going to brush out the bottom of my hair. And I think this style would be super, super cute with like curls, but I just don't have the time today, so I'm gonna keep it straight. This where we're going is pretty casual, so I'm not trying to like do the most. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. I'm just gonna add some hairspray to get rid of all the flyaways. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I, I don't know, there's just a feeling that you get when everything turns out the way that you want it to and you just know you're gonna have a good night. Okay, now I need to hurry up and get dressed. I have no clue what I'm gonna wear, but I did just get a package from Zaffle a couple of days ago and I haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna go open that and see if there's any cute pieces that I wanna wear. Okay guys, I got so much stuff from Zaffle, like, I honestly don't even remember what I got, so I'm just gonna start opening different packages and seeing what I got. But I'm gonna start with this little one. Okay, this is a swimsuit. I know I'm not gonna be able to wear this, but I'll try it on for you guys anyways, just so you can see what I got. Okay, here is the swimsuit on. This is so freaking cute. I love the top. That back is literally like no bathing suit I've ever seen before. It's so unique and different with the straps, but I love it. I honestly was a little bit confused when I first put it on because I wasn't sure how the straps were supposed to go, but I figured it out by looking at the picture. And then the bottoms are pretty thin. They're very cheeky, so definitely not a family pool swimsuit. But I just put this little wrap that's also from Zaffle. I got it in a different one of my hauls. I'll post it somewhere up here. But yeah, this is what the swimsuit looks like. If we were going to a pool party, I would definitely wear this, but we're not, so on to the next. The next piece that I got is this dress. Oh my God, it is so pretty. I think this is gonna be too much for dinner, but I'm gonna try it on and just see. Oh my God. God, you guys, this dress is everything. Are you kidding me? Look at that bag. That is literally so crazy. I am in love. I can't even breathe. I'm like out of breath trying to express my love for this dress. I just think it is so flattering and pretty. I love this print. I don't even know what you would call it, but that illusion that it gives you of the hourglass is perfect. The material feels really nice. It's very stretchy. The only thing I don't like is that it's kind of like a cut hem right here, so it's a little frail. But other than that, I think it is great quality, super cute. I am definitely going to have to wear this out soon because this is just, oh, it's just perfect. Let's open up this goodie bag and see what we got. Oh, this is so cute. I remember ordering this. It's a set. Let me find the shirt. Okay, I found the shirt. It's just this um, two-piece set. It is so pretty. I love this pattern. And of course, your girl is in love with brown, so it came with a brown top. It's like a little cowl neck, but it has an open back with just ties. And I think that is so sexy and fun for summer. I'm gonna throw this on and see if maybe this will work. I cannot with these outfits. Are you kidding me? Look at this set. This is crazy. I am in love with it. I think it is so pretty and classy. I love this cowl neck. I don't have too many tops like this, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna look on me, but I honestly really, really like it. And then the back is the best part. Like I love that open back detail with just the ties. Skirt is honestly the moment because look how freaking gorgeous it is. I love it so much, you guys. But I think it's a little bit too dressy for where we're going. I don't wanna be like that girl, so I'm probably not gonna wear this. But honestly, I could pair this top with some jeans or even the skirt with like just a t-shirt or something and it would be really, really cute. But I'm gonna see what else I have. Got another set. I remember ordering this, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. It's this green two-piece, 
it has just a little skirt that has a high slit and some ruching on the side, which is really pretty. And then it comes with this little green crop top, which is so freaking cute. Only thing I will say that I'm a little confused by is they're two different materials, but they come as a set. This is more of like a soft, shiny material, whereas this is more cotton and ribbed. I think it is still cute, so let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, here is the green set, which I feel like is way more up my alley for tonight. It's super casual, but it's still really, really cute at the same time. I love this skirt. I feel like it is super flattering, but also really, really comfortable to wear. That's why I'm thinking it would be casual enough for tonight. And this top is just your basic crop top. There's nothing too special about it, but I do really, really like this color on my skin tone. I feel like it's super flattering, which we love. I think this is so cute. I love this. I feel like if I just put some sneakers on with this and like a crossbody bag, it would be perfect for tonight. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below because this is definitely a contender. Okay, this is the last item that we got. So fingers crossed that we might have something that we can wear tonight. Oh my God, I forgot I ordered this. This is so cute. Just this like halter neck dress with this really pretty pattern. I love this and it's like a really soft sweatery material so it's super thick. We'll see how well this does in the Alabama heat. I'm gonna try it on and see what I think. I have a feeling this might be the winner. Oh my god! I love this! Okay, this is definitely the one for tonight. I feel like it's really cute but casual enough for like a little dinner with the girls. I just think it is so pretty and fun. I love this pattern. It's something that I've never seen before. And the open back I think is really, really pretty. I totally forgot that I ordered this. I don't really know how I'm gonna style it though. That's my dilemma. I was thinking maybe like Air Force Ones with some gold jewelry or something, but I have no idea what bag I'm gonna wear. I have a white one, but I also have a pink one. I don't know if that would look good. Let's go pick out some accessories to pair with this. Okay, we're in my room now. Sorry for the lighting. I know it sucks, but we gotta hurry it up because I'm running a little bit behind. I was thinking about either wearing my white Air Forces or these like greenish shoes. I don't know what they're called. I need to figure that out because I never know what they're called when I show you guys. I thought maybe like the tan and the green would kind of go together or I could do just my plain white Air Forces. I wish this was real time so you guys could help me out, but I don't know which one to choose. I think I'm just gonna go with the white Air Forces. If you're screaming at me to go with the other shoes, I'm so sorry. This is what it looks like with the shoes. I never realized how many bruises I have on my legs till now, but it's fine. I honestly think it looks okay. It's not my favorite together, but I just don't know what else to wear. And I haven't painted my toenails, so I don't wanna wear sandals. But yeah, let me go pick out some accessories and see if that helps tie everything together. Okay, so for accessories, I'm just gonna add a bunch of gold and silver rings. This is what the rings look like. I got majority of these from Zaffle as well. I think a few of them I got from Shein maybe, but majority are from Zaffle. And then for earrings, I have these really cute gold hoops, um, but I also have these studs in and I don't know if I like the studs or the hoop. So let me just try these on and see. These are the hoops. Are they doing too much? I kind of feel like they're doing too much. Let me see if I have a smaller pair. Okay, these are the smaller pair and I honestly like them a lot better. I just feel like since the dress is so busy that these just look more casual. I don't know, I just don't want to be too dressy, you know? Now I need to figure out a bag. So for bags, I have two options, either this pink Michael Kors bag, which is just like a crossbody, but I would probably just wear it like this. Or I have this clear bag, which I feel is like out of style now. I got this from, I think Forever 21, like years ago. And it has 
a strap as well, but I don't know if I would wear this strap since the thing is like bent. I think I'm gonna go with the manual cords bag. So here is the final look. I think the bag looks really good with the dress. I don't know, I don't have any other options, you guys. Let me know what you think, but this is the final outfit. Super cute. It is 5.45. I'm supposed to be there by 6 o'clock and it's like 30 minutes away. So I need to leave now. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside. TT.